It all began as an ordinary day in September. An ordinary day in Raccoon City. A city controlled by Umbrella. No one dared to oppose them. And that lack of strength would ultimately lead to their destruction. I suppose they had to suffer the tougher the consequences of their actions. But there would be no forgiveness. If only they had had the courage to fight. It's true that once the wheels of justice begin to turn, nothing can stop them. Nothing. It was Raccoon City's last chance, and my last chance, my last escape. This is Chopper Delta, preparing to drop off at area E95070. September 28th, 28th, daylight. The monsters have overtaken the city. Somehow, I'm still alive.
Are you crazy? You could have barbecued both of us. Of us.
You're one of the... So Jill, Jill, put this on. Jill!
great!
It looks like we're ready to go. Here, take this. this. Okay. Uh, uh, Nikolai won't be joining us. I understand. I'll operate the cable car. Let's go.
Here's a gift for you.
I'm sorry, Jill. Please, wake up! Jill! Jill! October 1st, night. I woke up to the sound of falling rain. I can't believe I'm still alive.
slight fracture in his right arm just below the elbow. However,
I'm quite impressed you've
Carlos.
You're still Warning. Proceeding with operation in treatment room. Please evacuate immediately. Stars. Thank you. 
System.
Warning. System overheating. Enter cooldown mode. Jill! Over here! <laughs> All right, then, we're out of here. Oh, no. It's here. It's time to go. President and the Federal Council have passed judgment over the civilians of Raccoon City. The President and Federal Council have ruled that the Bacalus Terminate operation is the best course of action for this extreme situation and have since executed. Based on that fact, Raccoon City has been literally wiped off the map. Current reports have the death toll surpassing the 100,000 mark. Our hearts go out to those poor civilians of Raccoon City.